In today's video, we'll go over some neat functions of your TI-30X IIS calculator to help you work efficiently and accurately. This first one is probably the most important calculator function to master, and that's the EE function. EE stands for Enter Exponent, and it's really just a very neat way to write numbers in scientific notation. Let's say we want to express the number 20,000 in scientific notation. How would you write 20,000 in scientific notation? 20,000 is 2 times 10 to the 4th power, right? Now in a calculator, we could type out 2 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4, but that's a lot of typing for such a simple number. Without amount of button pushing, you're bound to mistype at some point. If only there were some way to speed up the process. Behold, EE. The EE function inserts an imaginary times 10 to the power of blank. So, with our previous example, we could write 20,000 by doing the following. First, press the 2 key. Then, use EE by pressing second and then the button labeled x to the power of negative 1 with a small EE labeled above. Finally, press 4. Now note, the second button gives us access to all of the functions above the keys, such as EE above x to the power of negative 1, square root above x squared, or off above on. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's only 4 key presses compared to the 6 from earlier. That adds up. Now, something important to note is that when you do this on your calculator, only a single E will show up, which is fine. You don't have to press it twice to get an E, it's just what the button is called. Let's try this example. Which series of key presses most efficiently expresses the number 400,000 in scientific notation? Alright, nice. So 4E5 is just 4 times 10 to the power of 5, which is 400,000. Now, when you're actually doing calculations using the EE button, things can get a lot simpler. For example, multiplying two numbers in scientific notation is done simply by putting a multiplication sign between the numbers. But that's not all. Have you ever tried taking an exponent on a number written the long way? It's a pain. You have to encase the whole thing in parentheses, and by the time you realize you have to do that, you've already written a million other numbers, and by that point, you might as well just hit the clear button. Worse yet, you might not even catch this and get the wrong answer. Luckily, our dear friend EE has a magnificent solution. Using the EE button makes the calculator treat the something E something as a single unit. It won't try to break anything apart with the terrible power of order of operations. It's like the scientific notation is already encased in parentheses, ready to use in a tidy little expression. Here's an example, let's do 2 times 10 to the second to the power of 2, with lots of 2s. Now this should hopefully give us 40,000, right? Let's see if EE stands up to the test. It does. Now, just for kicks, let's see what happens when we use the nasty times 10 to the expression, and forget to add parentheses, which by the way is just a waste of time. Well, would you look at that, 20,000. This is terrible news, that is, if you aren't using EE. If you're still not convinced, try out this question. Which of the following series of key presses is the most efficient way to calculate the result of squaring 4 times 10 to the third? That's right, the first answer choice here is of course not using the E function, which we've already established is a pretty bad idea. The second one puts down a multiplication sign instead of an exponent sign, which is just multiply the number by 2. The third option is a little sneaky and it switches the order of the 2 and the 3, which would be 4 times 10 to the second cubed. Lastly, the fourth option here is correct, with a 4, second, E, 3, gives the 4 times 10 to the third, and the exponent. 2 afterwards squares the whole thing. See, what a lifesaver. But, you may ask, can exponents also be negative? And you'd be correct. Negative exponents are of course the other half of scientific notation, where very small numbers need to be expressed. For scientific notation with a negative exponent, press the negative button in the lower right hand corner, it looks like a minus sign in parentheses, right between the EE and the number, which will place a little dash to symbolize a negative sign. This way, you can get really tiny numbers into your calculator, as well as the big ones. Now, say you're nice and comfy writing out scientific notation with EE, but what if you want your answers to be displayed in scientific notation? What if you want your answer to be 1 times 10 to the negative 9th, and not this number? Well, fear not. Our friends at Texas Instruments have thought of that too. The superstar button this time is the psi slash ang button, which is in the top row to the right of the blue second button. Unlike most functions, this one opens up a menu presenting three options, flow, psi, and ang. The first thing to know is that nobody has ever, in the 62 year long history of electronic calculators, used ang. No one knows what it does, no one knows why it's there, and there are many people who even deny its very existence. The two players here are flow and psi. Flow is your standard something point something decimal display, a floating point number. Your calculator will probably be on this by default. The psi option, on the other hand, displays all of your answers in scientific notation. Pretty neat. And better yet, it uses actual scientific notation with the multiplication by a power of 10 and everything. This is pretty great. This whole something e something notation only exists in your calculator and in spreadsheet programs. And it should stay there. You don't want to give someone important like a professor an answer like something e something, because that's just nonsense. Anyway, once you're in the menu, you can use the left and right arrow buttons to select either flow or psi. Once your desired option is underlined, hit the equal or enter button to change your display mode. You can see now if you type in 1, 0, 0, 0, we get 1 times 10 to the 0, 3, or 10 to the 3rd. Here, you give it a try. 
If the number 215,000 were displayed in sign mode on a TI-30XIIS calculator, your calculator, what would the readout say? Hopefully you check this out for yourself and you see that 215,000 would be written as 2.15 times 10 to the 0, 05 on the readout. Pretty cool, eh? Now real quick, if you ever want to check if you're in sign mode, there'll be a little sigh that pops up at the bottom of your screen if you are, like this. Together, these two functions are going to make your time with your TI-30XIIS calculator a lot more pleasant. Remember, you can always jump back to specific parts of the video if you need a quick refresh in the future. See you later!